Hi, I'm Rock and Roller Hairstylist and today I'm going to show you a couple of simple techniques to do some vintage hairstyling. We're going to start off with a really basic set um, which I'm going to do with um, my curling tongs um, and then I'll show you how to brush it out into a vintage style. Um, doing a good set is the basis of any vintage hairstyling really because you need the, the curl and the texture in the hair. So this little head here is called Betty and um, I use her just for styling, um, I don't actually use her for anything else so she's a bit ratty now but she's my favourite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start just sectioning off her hair best I can. It's not very good on these heads, it's not like human hair. Um, it is human hair but it's not the same as actually doing it on a human head. Um, so I'm going to be doing a vintage set on Betty here we go, I've got my little, uh, you can use a rat tail comb, I've got a, a, a pin tail comb here which is really good for this sort of thing because it's good to get your nice clean sections. And just make sure it's at the right temperature. So, that should form the shape and then just pop in one of your little pin tail clips. Uh, you can also just use bobby pins, whatever works for you. Now I actually prefer doing wet sets, um, but they are more time consuming. So it's good to do a nice heated set, it's definitely good for quickness. So these are barrel curls, because obviously you can see the shape is round. And I might tend to do more of a barrel curl on the top, um, because it gives a lot more volume. But around the sides, I don't really want volume, so it's fine to do like a, just a flat um, pin curl, uh, which I will show you shortly. side complete and now for the other side. See how the curl just wants to sit in its own base that is called an on base curl um, which basically means that it creates not only curl but also volume whereas if you did a off base it would mean that you ever so slightly drag it down so it wouldn't have quite as much volume but for a vintage hairstyle, I like a lot of volume, especially around the crown of the head. Okay, so what I'm going to demonstrate here is a... Um, pin curl. Uh, so it's just a flat pin curl rather than these barrel curls that we've done. I'll show you how to do that. So same technique with your curling tongs. So get a nice little ringlet and what we do you wrap it round in a spiral shape and that will just sit in the hair like this so you still created a curl but it won't create volume it will just be 
some nice curls and you don't necessarily always want lots of volume all over the hair so it is up to you how you decide to do that. Okay so both my sides are done at the moment so I'm just going to move on to the back and I'll be doing exactly the same thing doing the directional you know however the hair wants to fall so I'll be doing my rolls going this way. Just turn her around so you can see. <laughs> is now complete sides are done and the back a little bit messy never mind so when you do a heated roller set you need to make sure that you allow time for the curls to cool down so I'm going to leave Betty for a good 15-20 minutes and check back also must have a bit of hairspray on there so you know Betty just helps to hold the style into place I'm going to turn my curling tongs off and we will see you back in a few minutes. So once all the clips are out, you can see these lovely curls, lots of volume on the top, which is what I wanted, that Betty now has. And round the back where I've done some, oh, missed a clip. And another one. Make sure you get all your clips out. You can see the different sorts of curls that I did at the bottom that the, weren't the barrel curls. Now what you need to do is you've got to brush it out. So don't be afraid just to get in there with your denim brush. So you can see this lovely shape that's been created here just through brushing. And you can manipulate the hair now, now that you've got your curls in there and you can style your set however you want to. I like a lot of volume on top, so this is where my back comb and brush usually comes in handy, or just a rat tail comb. So, this is my denim back combing brush, which is good for large areas that you need to back comb. This is just a rat tail comb, which is really good for back combing. And this is my new, well, new to me, but it's a vintage dead stock back combing brush, which is brilliant. So let's have a go with this. Right, okay, so get a section of hair. Sometimes that helps to give a little blast. I know she's not actually a, a real person. Of hairspray at the base, especially if they've got fine hair and if someone has got fine hair, to do in smaller sections. So, this is good back combing. So, this is what it should look like when you back comb hair. And you literally would go through the sections. Now it looks like a big old mess at the moment, but it won't be like that forever. So there you have it, a really simple 1940s inspired set. Um, it's lovely, the shape that you have here and the nice volume created this side. Anyway, thank you so much for watching um, my 1940s inspired set. Um, very simple to create. And uh, please do subscribe to my channel and uh, 
watch out for some other videos that I will be uploading shortly. Thank you.